When we step back and think about BYD, it's a company that's achieving the most explosive growth we've ever seen in the auto business in a hundred years. BYD, the world's fastest rising EV giant, has just unveiled a revolutionary all solid state battery that can fully charge an electric vehicle in just 10 minutes, leaving Tesla in the dust again. Faster, safer, and more energy dense than anything on the market, this new technology could render traditional lithium ion batteries obsolete. And while Tesla has dominated headlines for years, this time, it's BYD leading the charge, and the gap is closing fast. So what makes this battery so revolutionary? How did BYD pull off something the rest of the industry only promised? And what does it mean for the future of electric vehicles? All solid state batteries. Right now, all solid state batteries are the best option for electric vehicles. It's because if you have ever owned an electric car, you know the limitations of lithium ion batteries. They are powerful, but they come with serious drawbacks. Electric cars get warm when they are charging fast. That's because there is flammable liquid inside every lithium ion battery. When we say flammable, we mean these batteries can catch fire, explode, and they definitely don't react well to physical damage or overcharging. But safety is not the only limitation. Even when they work perfectly, lithium ion batteries are slow to charge. Tesla's supercharger network still requires 45 minutes to an hour for a full charge. In our instant everything world, that is a significant barrier to adoption. But to understand why solid state batteries are better than lithium ion batteries, we need to look at how both of these batteries actually work. In a traditional lithium ion battery, you have two electrodes, a positive cathode and a negative anode, which are separated by a liquid electrolyte. This liquid acts as a highway for lithium ions to travel back and forth, creating the electrical current that powers your device but that liquid electrolyte is the source of most problems. It is typically made of organic solvents that are flammable. When the battery heats up during fast charging or gets damaged, this liquid can ignite. The liquid also gradually breaks down over time, which is why your phone battery degrades after a few years. Now, solid state batteries replace that dangerous liquid with a solid material, usually ceramic, glass, or sulfide-based compounds. Think of it like replacing a water balloon with a solid brick. The solid electrolyte still allows lithium ions to move between the electrodes, but it is fundamentally more stable. This seemingly simple change unlocks massive improvements. First, no flammable liquid means no fire risk. Second, solid electrolytes are mechanically stronger, so you can use lithium metal as the anode instead of graphite. Lithium metal stores far more energy in the same space, that's where the huge energy density gains come from. The solid structure also enables faster ion movement under the right conditions, which means you get dramatically faster charging speeds. And because there is no liquid to degrade, the battery can last for thousands more charge cycles. Now, this is not some brand new invention. Michael Faraday was the one who experimented with solid electrolytes back in the 1830s. But because he was about 200 years ahead of his time, the materials just were not ready for this invention. It's the same as saying he had a blueprint for a smartphone in 1950, but he couldn't make it because there were no microchips back then. So, for decades, solid-state batteries were the flying cars of the battery world. Always five years away, never quite ready for prime time. The materials would crack, the performance was terrible, or they cost more than your house. But then something changed. In 2011, Japanese researchers cracked the code with something called LGPS. It was the first solid material that could move ions as well as liquids. That's when the big companies took notice. Toyota threw billions at it. Volkswagen, BMW, and even startups like QuantumScape got massive funding. Everyone wanted to be first to market. And while Tesla was building the coolest cars and the best software, BYD was doing something different. They were obsessing over the chemistry. BYD Recent Innovation BYD started as a battery company in 1995. Cars came later, 
So while everyone else was trying to figure out how to make batteries work in cars, BYD was trying to make the perfect battery. And recently, they finally revealed their invention. A 60 ampere hour all solid state battery with 400 watt hours per kilogram of energy density. Let us put that in perspective. Tesla's current batteries are about 260 to 300 watt hours per kilogram. BYD just leapfrogged them by 30 to 50%, but the energy density is just the beginning. Do you remember that 10 minute charging we mentioned in the beginning? That's real. BYD has promised an 80% charge in the time it takes to use a gas station bathroom, and the range is over 1,500 kilometers. That's 932 miles on a single charge. For comparison, Tesla's longest range Model S does about 405 miles. BYD just nearly doubled it. The best thing is that it works in extreme temperatures, from minus 30 degrees to 120 degrees Celsius. Your Tesla might struggle in a Minnesota winter, but this thing will keep going when it is cold enough to freeze your breath. So what makes this possible? BYD is using a sulfide composite solid electrolyte, which is basically a super stable material that conducts ions like a liquid, but stays solid like a rock. They paired it with a high nickel cathode and a silicon-based anode. In simple words, they found the perfect combination of materials that nobody else has managed to get working together. But the part that will blow your mind is that BYD has promised 10,000 charge cycles. In real-world terms, that's like driving 2 million miles without needing a new battery. Your great-grandchildren could inherit this car, and the battery would still be going strong. Now, before you start camping out at BYD dealerships, let's be real. This is still the prototype phase. They are not mass-producing these batteries yet, but they already have a plan. By 2027, these batteries go into high-end electric coupes. By 2030, they are aiming for 40,000 vehicles and costs down to $70 per kilowatt hour. That's the same price as today's best lithium ion batteries. But as with any revolutionary technology, the devil is in the details. In other words, the challenges BYD is facing in bringing this to market are absolutely fascinating. The challenges. The first major hurdle is cost. Solid state batteries are really expensive to make. The materials alone, including sulfide electrolytes and silicon anodes, cost a fortune. Other than that, you need super clean factories and precision equipment just to build one battery cell. Right now, a solid state battery costs three to five times more than a regular lithium ion battery. That's why most car companies are only doing small tests instead of full production. The math just doesn't work yet. Making one battery in a lab is easy. Making millions of them safely and consistently is a completely different challenge. You cannot just use the same machines that make lithium ion batteries. Everything has to be built from scratch. So you need new equipment, new factories, and new supply chains. BYD is planning a massive 20 gigawatt hour production facility in Chongqing. But even with their resources, it is going to take years and billions of dollars to get these batteries rolling out at scale. Another huge technical issue is that solid electrolytes can crack over time. Every time you charge and discharge the battery, the materials expand and shrink. Liquid electrolytes can bend and flex, but solid materials cannot do that. When cracks form, lithium starts growing metal spikes called dendrites that can short-circuit the battery. Once that happens, performance drops and the battery dies faster. BYD says they have solved this with new materials, but we need years of real-world testing to know for sure. Other than that, solid-state batteries have always struggled with temperature. They usually work best when they are warm, which is bad news for cold climates. BYD claims their battery keeps 85% efficiency even at minus 40 degrees Celsius and works up to 120 degrees Celsius. If true, that's huge. But charging in freezing weather might still be slow and we have not seen independent testing yet. Finally, there is the human factor. Most people have never heard of solid state batteries. They are generally expensive, they are new, and when it comes to cars, people want proven technology. BYD has to convince consumers to pay extra for something they don't understand. That's always tough, especially when you are asking people to trust their daily transportation to unproven tech. BYD's Master Plan Despite all these challenges, 
BYD is not backing down. While Tesla and other companies are still doing research, BYD already has working prototypes being tested in real cars. They have mapped out their entire production plan through 2030. BYD's approach is smart. They are starting with high-end vehicles in 2027, where customers will pay premium prices for cutting-edge tech. Then they will move to mid-range cars by 2030, once production scales up and costs come down. The target that matters most is getting solid-state batteries down to $70 per kilowatt hour by 2030. But BYD is not thinking small. These batteries could change multiple industries. Drones could fly longer missions. Smartphones could charge in minutes and last all day. Solar and wind farms could store energy more reliably with less maintenance. It is the same core technology, just applied everywhere energy storage matters. There is also a sustainability story here. Solid-state batteries eliminate flammable liquids and reduce the need for materials like cobalt that come with ethical mining concerns. They last longer, creating less waste. And because they are more efficient, they reduce carbon emissions from both vehicle operation and battery manufacturing. This puts BYD in direct competition with Tesla, but in a different way. Tesla won the early EV market with software, design, and marketing. BYD might win the next phase with superior battery technology. If BYD delivers on their promises, they won't just be another EV company. They could become the battery supplier that powers the entire industry's transition to electric transportation. Now tell us, if you had the chance, would you go for a solid state battery in your next vehicle? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more updates on next generation battery tech and everything changing the future of transportation. Goodbye.